Hi, I'm Chef Ange. Welcome back to my channel. On today's episode, I want to show you this amazingly delicious shepherd's pie. Saucy vegetables and meat covered with the most beautiful mashed potatoes, baked in the oven to a crisp. What more could you ask for out of a home cooking dish? For the full ingredient list and directions, check the description box below. And before we get into this recipe, if you haven't already, take a second, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you can find out when I drop new recipe and tip videos every week. Let's get cooking. The first step to making a great shepherd's pie is making awesome mashed potatoes. The potato that we're going to use today is going to be a russet potato because we're going to want the top of this mashed potatoes to get crispy and nothing gets crispier like a russet potato. So we're going to take our potatoes, we're going to cut them into evenly sized chunks and then we're going to drop them in some salted boiling water and we're going to boil them for about 10 minutes. Now let's take a look at the vegetables that are going to go inside of the stew that goes under the mashed potatoes. So what's going to go in there is going to be some onions, some carrots, some celery, some shallots, and some garlic. And these are our standard aromatics that you should have on hand in your kitchen at all times. A lot of my recipes call for these. This is also another really great recipe to work on your knife skills because you have to break down an onion, the carrots, the celery, the shallots, the garlic, and each one of them involves little different knife skills. And knife skills are best practice in the kitchen, so the more you do it, the better you get at it. We're going to want that stew to be pretty delicate, so each one of these we're going to chop pretty finely. We're also going to put in some fresh herbs, and if you don't have fresh herbs, you can always use dried. But here I'm just peeling the leaves off of some thyme, some rosemary, and some sage. And once I get all the woody stems off, I'm going to chop these up as finely as I can. And again, this is just another opportunity to work on your knife skills, and I'm just going to keep running the knife over until they're really nice and fine. Shepherd's pie is traditionally made with ground lamb. There's also another recipe called cottage pie, which is basically shepherd's pie made with ground beef. Uh, I like to use a combination of both. So we're going to use half ground lamb, half ground beef. And we're going to crumble it up by hand to save some work on the stove. After our potatoes are done boiling, we're going to make our mashed potatoes by throwing in some butter. We're going to season it up with a little bit of my base seasoning, which is a blend of garlic powder, onion powder, salt, and pepper. You can find a link to the video recipe in the description. We're going to put in a little half and half to help soften that up, and that's going to be that liquid. And in's going to go some shredded cheddar cheese. Shepherd's pie is traditionally made with a cheesy mashed potato, so we're not going to deviate too far from that. Now we're going to take our potato masher, and we're just going to mash everything up all together. And we're just going to keep mashing. And if it looks dry at any point, we'll take a little bit more of that half and half and we'll keep splashing that in there till we get the right consistency where it's creamy and soft but not liquidy. So now we're going to heat up a cast iron pan over some medium high heat. We're going to add a little bit of oil and we're going to add our crumbled ground meat in there and we're going to brown it. And I'm going to use this wooden spoon to continue to break it up until it's nice and crumbly and it doesn't have any like big meatballs or big meat boulders in there. We're going to season with a pinch or two of salt and some freshly ground black pepper. We're going to add those finely chopped aromatics in there, everything minus the garlic and we're gonna mix that up. I love the smell coming off of this. Whenever we add ingredients, we're always gonna season a little bit more with some pepper and some salt. A Couple spoonfuls of some tomato paste, and we're gonna work that into the meat and vegetables until it's incorporated well throughout. We're gonna let that cook up a little bit. And now we're gonna put that garlic in and we're going to cook that for a minute or two until it becomes fragrant. Now this smells like home cooking. Nice heavy splash of some red wine. Start to build the base of that sauce. A little bit of some Worcestershire sauce. Nobody can say that. And now a secret ingredient, some beef bouillon paste. And this is going to help build that nice, saucy, savory flavor. And we're going to mix that in just like we did the tomato paste. In go the fresh herbs that we chopped up before. It's really smelling good in here. And now a nice heavy splash of some beef stock. Just going to help liquefy that. Now we're going to put in some frozen peas. 
and keep splashing in the beef stock until we get the right consistency that we're looking for. So we want to make sure that it's saucy enough. We don't want this to dry out as it's cooking. So now we're going to take those mashed potatoes that we made before and we're going to spoon those over the top and we're going to give it like a rough smooth out with a spoon. And we'll do the best job we can to make it nice and flat. And then we'll take our silicone spatula and we'll really smooth it out nice and flat and seal up the edges as best as we can. But we're not going to stop there because once this is nice and smooth, we're going to take a fork and we're going to make some nice ridges right over the top. And this is going to help make a nice crispy texture on the top of this and give it a really good opportunity to brown and get nice and crispy little spray with some oil before this goes inside the oven to ensure that this gets crispy and now we're gonna throw this in the oven for anywhere between 30 to 45 minutes or until those mashed potatoes are nice and golden crispy we're gonna sprinkle with a little bit of some fresh parsley for a little pop of color and look how amazing this looks this screams home cooking this warms the soul just looking at it everybody's gonna get excited for shepherd's pie night once they see this before I cut into this, I want to show you just how crispy this crust is. Like, listen, listen to that knife run along that crust. That's why we want to use a russet potato, because russet potatoes get a little crispier. Even though that Yukon Golds make better mashed potatoes, nothing's going to get that nice crisp. Listen to that knife run over the ridges on this thing. Mmm. All right, let's cut into this and see how we did. Super soft mashed potatoes. The smell coming from this is unbelievable. Mm, this smells like the essence of home cooking. Let's go in for a bite. So we're making sure that we're getting a little bit of that mashed potatoes, a little bit of that crust. Look at that. Hopefully I don't burn my mouth on this one. That is so good. I mean, shepherd's pie is just a really, really great one pan meal. Everything's in here. You got your carbs, you got your vegetables, you got your protein. I could eat this all winter long. Well, I'm Chef Ange. This is my shepherd's pie. Let me know in the comment section how yours comes out. Uh, if you haven't already, give the like button a little love on this video. Subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can find out when I drop new recipe and tip videos. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.